All right, welcome or welcome back, new viewers and game viewers. It is time for another episode of Mega Man X5, the Zero playthrough. We're gonna pick our boy Zero the Hero, and let us begin with the Skyver. Oh, excuse me, Spiral Pegasus. This ain't the PS1 version. And as you can see here, we're in the Rupple Force Air Stage again. We know, Ilya. You don't need to tell me two times over. How oh, great the bombs, yeah, to defuse the bombs, we know. You've already seen things before. Right, give me that red blade. I don't care if I take damage. Fuck it. Oof. Ah, boy, I took a lot of damage. Jeez. No, I'm not gonna die. Oh, no. Oof. Oh, man, this is a red blade is safe. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that might kill me. <laughs> Seems I can't just force my way through this one, right? We're gonna use the power of skill on our side. Oh, no. No! Who oh, I got it! Whew! Alright, we're fine. And thanks to the fact that these Repoids infinitely respawn, we kinda have infinite lives. Alright. Good, get back to 100 base now. Ooh! Man, I'm, I'm speed. I'm a fast boy. I think it's the fastest I've ever done that. Probably a lot easier to do with zero than X, honestly. Can I get that out of the way? Uh-oh. Yes! Get out of my face! Hey, no more bombs, dude! This is the greatest day of my life, anyways. And now it's time for a pretty slow elevator ride. Alright, nothing special down here. And I know there's a heart tank down here that we can go get real fast. Well, once it shows up, that is. Alright, let me get the weapon tank, not like we really need it. One thing, and I think I mentioned this in the X4 playthrough, specifically Zero's playthrough, that Zero can use the weapon energy tank. The problem is, the only weapon he has that even uses... Uh, the one I'm gonna call it. The only weapon that he even has that, that can be used with that is Rakoha. So, there's really no point in him even having that. Alright, I guess that's that. <laughs> Alright, we got the big ol' elevator section now. And I know there's a Sigma virus that shows up right about here. He literally can never get you. Ah, don't like it, huh? Yeah, yeah. What you gonna do? You can't touch me. Can't touch this. Do 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 do. Can't touch this. Do 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 do. Yeah, whatever. Look at him. I'm taunting him. Yeah, see, see this guy. Just looking at each other right in the face. Anyways, no wasting time. Let's get moving. Oh yeah, I forgot. Here is the heart tank and a free reploid. We know Alia. Two free reploids. Oh, get me out of here. Okay. Elevator. I mean, it's pretty much impossible to get hit by those spikes how slow this elevator goes. Oh, you know what? Fine, I'm okay with that. Get out of my face. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Why? Why must you do this to me? Alright, stay up there. Whew. Got him. I get that on my face. Jump up. Oh, no. Whew. Ha! Ah! Can't catch me, you fool. Oh no, is he still coming? Right, I might have to take damage. Get this guy away from me. Yes, take damage. Come on, get me out of here. Nice, we're good. And now we reach the Skyva stage. It is a pl airplane that's very conveniently placed there. And somehow flying in place, because that makes sense. I've wanted to see you, Zero. I've all I wanted to ask you something. My thoughts always come back to the Colonel. I wanted to ask you if the battle between you two was necessary. I'm not accusing you. I just want to know. That's all. Uh, it was because I was it was because I was simping too much for his sister. That's why and he didn't like that. <laughs> I've already been infected by the virus. I'm destined to be retired by you once I become a Maverick. So go ahead, take me down. I want to fight you for the Colonel. That's what the colonel would want. 
I understand, but I'll fight you only because this is my mission. Now, let's do it. Now come charge at me. All right, and this is probably the first chance that the bosses will have much larger health bars. Oh, the light takes so much damage. Oh boy. Ooh. Got him. Miss me. Miss me again. You're a loser. <laughs> Miss me. Oh gee, thanks. I'm pretty much just do this for the rest of the fight. He is weak to dark hold, but it's a bit harder to use a zero, and I really don't care. Nor do we need it. All right, give me that weapon energy. Or I keep saying weapon energy, the life up. And quick charge for X. I didn't expect to have to fight right before scan, yada yada, no one cares. But I'll save over this. Data five. I right, continue the game. Hello, Clyde, how are you doing today? Emergency. Dynamo has come back here to attack. What on earth does he want? Well, it doesn't matter. We have to fight him. Our Danimals is back again. And Zero will take him down. And we can showcase more of his ranged attacks in this fight. That he uses specifically against Zero. And now you know how you're feeling, I see, I see. Also, what did we just blip into existence? Nice to see you again! Did you miss me? Stop pestering me, Dynamo. I won't allow you to escape this time. You can't retire me no matter how hard you try. I should have given him that western accent before. I'll give you a little advice. You, Sigma, everybody is always too hot when they fight, but not me. I'm always the coolest and wisest of all. If you can't understand then, I'll just have to show you. Come on and fight me. You're the coolest one, yet you're fighting us just because you want to get in our way. Sure, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, I somehow still got- oh my god. I'm still getting hit, okay. Haha, you missed me. Nope. And down goes the animals. Well, that was easy. So, you are strong. I fought seriously this time. Anyway, I need nine lives if I stuck with you. So, I'll leave no, matter, no more games. You should think about your future, too, or you'll die someday. I'm getting out of here because I don't want to die right now. Adios, amigos. I'm not your friend. Go fuck yourself. Probably zero in his head. I right, got an antivirus card, though. that's pretty cool, not like I'm gonna need it. Alright, continue the game. And now, with the Skyver or Spiral Pegasus out of the way, why don't we continue to burn Dynarex's stage in weakness order? Or his PS1 name, Burn Matt Rex. As we go into a volcanic area. We know, Elio, we don't need to be told two more times over. Alright, those flamethrower things are probably gonna hit me like a goddamn freight train, so I don't want to get touched by them. That zero- Ow! That took nearly half my HP. But thankfully we're right at the end. Oh, there's more of them. Thankfully, zero has ranged attacks. Like, one. Ow. Oh, God. Alright. Oh, no! Wait, there's lava coming! Gee, you think? 
and just wow okay god damn alio you're freaking breaking the physics over here not breaking the physics but uh oh Whew, almost died by the lava not breaking the physics breaking the pacing nearly killed me dude Easily the most annoying part of the game, let's just say. Alright. For safety purposes, I'm gonna hide right over here because... Boy, is, doesn't this look great. You totally want to be in this room right now. Ah, uh, no. Ah, oh, there's more than enough time for me to go to the wall. Oh, well. And we'll just sit up here for a little bit. I mean, that's one thing about the stage. It's always pretty fun to see how far you can go. Though, if you want to play things safe, you do have that option as well. Let's break the wall. Get, come on. All right, we're good. We are good. All right, which way should we go this time? Well, off screen, I did go down in the lava with X to get the other armor part that we missed, so. No, why don't we do that with zero this time on screen? Even though my head is clearly exposed, I can go under lava. Just because I'm in this right armor, which makes no goddamn sense, but whatever. At least it looks cool. At least the next four kind of made sense that you can go into the lava with it because you're not completely submerged, but here you are. I mean, it would have made sense if we had some sort of, like, protective helmet or something, but even if we did, uh, how can Zero see through here? Really? Because <laughs> that lava should be completely obscuring his vision. But whatever, whatever. Clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about here. Oh, okay. All right, not doing that again. Now, one thing about the right armor in this game that was the same with X4, if it takes enough damage, it will break, which there's no really signs of how much damage it could take. It seems like it could take quite a bit of punishment. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that just proved my point, or what I was just talking about. We keep going, and I guess I got a life somewhere in there. I don't know when, but I did. Either that, or I think it's because we're on a timer. That might be why that exploded so quickly. Oh, that was a life. Alright. Ah, we don't need it. We already have plenty. Come on, Zero, move it. Oh, alright, there's the signs that we're about to... It's about to break. Come on, jump! Dude, Zero, what are you doing? Normally, I don't have this problem. And I think the right armor is also taking constant damage down here as well. That could be another thing. Uh oh. Dude, jump. I'm pressing the B button and sometimes it doesn't jump. Uh oh. Ah, uh, not just yet. Oh, free life. Can't get mad at that. And another one, ha! <laughs> okay, it just ex didn't even give me a chance there, man. I don't remember this being as annoying, especially since I was down here 
outside of X's playthrough, or in X's playthrough. Come on, dash. Of course I can't jump up there. All right, we can make it through here. That, okay, screw this. Right, I'm about to just put this in rookie mode. This is dumb. I don't know how long they, you know what? Yeah, let's just keep going. So, I mean, I don't know how long they expect me to do that. But clearly it's not enough time to fully get through the whole thing, especially when these enemies are constantly after you and you can't one-shot. Well, you can one-shot them easily if you use the right attack, but they really do slow you down and sometimes the right armor is very clunky. Get up here, Zero. What are you doing? Come on, move it. All right. All right, screw it. Just too much. And if we stay here the entire episode, nothing. We're not going anywhere. So let's just do this instead. So I can actually blaze through it a little. I can actually get out of here in a reasonable amount of time. Because honestly, I don't know how the devs expect you to get through that. There we go. Normally I'm jumping through here just fine. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble now. You jump. Thank you. Clearly, I'm not supposed to be down here. There we go. Alright, well, there's the armor part for X. There we go. Good god. Good fucking game design. Don't give the player enough time to actually get the hell out of there. Alright, what does uh, Dr. Live have to say? This is the program for the arm parts of the guy arm. Analyze and upload the data. X's main memory in a secure area once x uploads all four yada yada with arms do that and the more powerful neutralize enemies it breaks certain blocks please tell x that he can push attacks bricks uh bricks by dashing into him for some reason the arm parts can do that well i guess you're pushing them but you have to dash into it and x doesn't hold out his arms when he does that just saying All right, here we go. Now we can actually do something in this goddamn stage. I just don't think they give you enough time in that. I think it's because the more damage you take, the less time you have. That might be why. But now let's get into what we're supposed to do in this stage. Fight the boss man himself. The Dino Boy. Why did you come here, Zero? So, the Maverick Terminator... <laughs> okay. ...is here... Uh, does this mean it's time for me to die? No, I just came for the booster energy engine. <laughs> That's not all you want from me, is it, Hunter? You want to take my life, don't you? You want to fight me, don't you? If you insist, then I accept your challenge. Bring it on, Sinister Hunter. And I just instantly take damage by running into him. Ow, oh my god, I just got- Did you see how fast I flew out of there? Uh oh. Oh no! Alright, okay, okay, oh no. Oh no. Alright, can't touch me. Miss me. Haha. Alright, one more good hit and you're screwed. Yep, down he goes. And there's a stupid looking surprise face. Quake Blazer! And we got Jumper! We found the booster engine. 
And we're striking, increase the power of it, yada yada, we're cool, good. Into the lava. Alright, we can save here, and then after this, we're not gonna save after the next stage. Continue the game. Alright, jumper, super recovery, and these are only for X. Eh, I'm not gonna bother with this one. And now, the final stage before the final, final stages of the game. Spike Rosard or Axel the Red. Depends on which name you prefer. Or whichever version you're playing. And we got literal guns and roses in the background. Let's do it. Uh oh. Oh, all right, we're fine. All right, man, jumping higher really does feel good. I can still double jump too. This is totally not broken, anybody. And you can control the level you jump as well. You want a low jump? You can do a low jump. Uh-oh. I've been grabbed. I've been grabbed. But thankfully, you get out relatively easily without fucking up your Joy-Con if you're playing the Switch version like I am. I know there's energy sitting there. It's a trap, though. Oh, my... Because I'm supposed to see that. Okay. So, if you're making platformers, this is something plenty of Mega Man games do. If you're, if you're making a platformer, don't don't put a Leafs of Faith like that. The player can't freaking see where it is. Oh my god, man, fuck you. Like, if you're gonna give them some sort of drop that to make, at least make sure the player can, you know, see where they're dropping. Like, and make sure it's flat ground if you're gonna do that. All right, cool, you learn from those type of uh, encounters. Right, we already know what's up there, I'm not gonna bother. Jeez, how am I supposed to see that? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'd right, steal that bit of HP. Alright, and here's the boss gate. Alright, Spike Rose boy, show yourself. And luckily, all we have is a weakness. Well, of course we do. We fought the other seven bosses already. Are you the, the one they call Zero? That's no concern of yours. Just give me the Orbiter Engine. So, what they say about Maverick Hunters is true. Extremely pushy and threatening. They will terminate you if you stand in their way. Hey, I don't care what you think or what you heard, but we only retire Mavericks. Mavericks, huh? And it's up to you who gets to put it, uh, put in that category. Oh, you don't know nothing yet if you've seen the Zero series. I've heard you accuse the members of the Repla Force of being Mavericks. What are Mavericks, anyway? W wait a minute. That's not true. I'll show you exactly what people think when they get retired. Burn! And yep, this is the fire attack for Zero. Yeah, just do this over and over again. Hit him with that spark man boy syndrome and you're good. Or do a little damage to him. And down you go. Nice find you, Axel the Red. Didn't even last 20 seconds. We did this in two minutes, that's crazy. I 
I Spark Ball and Twin Dream, which is very similar to Soul Body from X4, when Zero uses it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go to the stage selection I am not going to save here. We've completed the space shuttle! It's ready to launch at any time, still. The problem is, yeah, we've already seen all this. Alright, Zero, my boy, take the mantle. Alright, let's see what ending we get here. And if we got the wrong ending, I'm gonna reset this and do that off-screen. Yep, he's all right. Zero lived. My boy lived. He's alive. Oh boy, the Sigma virus, whatever we'll do anyways. Alright, we see what we need to see here. Our boy Zero is alive. Alright, and we can go to this stage next. And we'll face off with Zero, but I think we should save that for the next episode. Let me just see if we got any new things. No, we didn't. Alright. But we can still use our boy Zero, which means in the next episode we'll go through the Sigma stages as Zero. Anyways, if y'all enjoyed this and you want to see more, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and follow. Hit one of the videos you see on screen now up on YouTube. And that button for more. Thank you, Cloud, for joining me once again for a wondrous episode. And in the next episode, we take on the stages as Zero. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and see you next time. Have a bearific day.